Did you know that you can reach 241 AP and 297 DP without spending any silver on equipment? In this video, I will teach you how to get a full set of gear that is on par with Duo Blackstar gear and try yellow accessories. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to improve your gameplay or hang out on stream, hit subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss a single piece of content. To get the free gear, you first have to get Pen Naru gear, which we will exchange at an NPC later. It's recommended to follow this guide on a regular character, not a seasoned character. The gear you will get at the end can only be equipped by a regular character, and while you can technically follow this guide on a seasoned character, it might get a little bit confusing towards the end. If another season starts in BDO, be sure to stay tuned for my guide on season gear progression, which I will link below once it's done. But back to Naru gear. You get Naru weapons, Naru accessories and Naru armor as quest rewards from playing the main story. You do not need Naru accessories to get the free gear and their stats are not very good. So when you get Naru accessories, you should equip them but do not enhance them unless a quest or season pass challenge is telling you to do so, and as soon as you get a better accessory, you can unequip them. Naru accessories are pretty easy to replace, so it is okay to delete them for inventory space. The second piece of Naru gear you get from the main quest is the Naru main hand weapon when you kill Beg, the boss of the imps. And more is gonna follow. And the stuff you see in my inventory right now are the Naru items and beginner black stones that uh, accumulate from the Medea main quest, which took me about 7 hours of playtime to complete since the creation of this character. You get everything you need to enhance your Naru gear to pen from the main story, with the exception of a Naru awakening weapon. We will talk about your awakening weapon later. A Naru gear is uh, really easy to enhance. The first 7 levels on weapons and the first 5 levels on armor are guaranteed. See it says 100% uh, here. So we are going to enhance the first 7 levels on this weapon right now with no risk of failure. When you are enhancing your Naru gear, you would obviously do it during the main story whenever it gives you beginner black stones and not all at once after the main story like me. I didn't need the AP and DP from Naru, so I could afford to save this stuff up to make this video. But uh, as a new player, you want to invest your beginner black stones as soon as you get them. Uh, this advice only applies to Naru gear. <laughs> Please don't YOLO enhance all your other gear the second you get a black stone, but I guess that should be obvious. The next enhancement doesn't say 100% anymore, so it can fail, and if it fail, the item loses durability and you gain fail stacks. Fail stacks increase your chance of succeeding the next enhancement, and sometimes we want to fail cheap enhancements to get better chances at succeeding expensive enhancements. And this is in essence how the enhancement system of BDO works. But uh, none of this really matters for Naru gear. Naru gear is so easy to enhance that you don't need any fail stacks, even for pen. If you have any advice of Valk scrolls, like these, as a reward for anything, do not spend them on Naru gear. And actually, if you fail enhancing Naru gear without fail stacks a few times and the fail stack builds up, um, and you have a Nader's band, this right here, uh, you can keep the fail stack that build for a real enhancement later on. I made a separate video on how to get the Nader's Band, uh, you can find it linked below, but uh, if you don't have the Nader's Band yet and you want to just enhance your Naru gear right now, don't worry about it. Because there is no way the Naru gear builds a seriously high fail stack that's a must keep at all costs. The Nader's Band can only make things a little bit more efficient at best. So let's go clicking. So uh, now it failed and you can see that it lost two durability, but um, that's really gentle, all right? So that's not a lot of durability loss. The fail stack also increased um, from plus two to plus three. I have like a base um, enhancement chance of plus two. That's why it's never at zero. And the enhancement chance from the fail stack is this number right here. So we can just keep clicking basically. 
now it's at uh, plus 15 it's gonna go at pry and um, it's um, not as easy anymore as you can see like uh, it's at 60% chance now it dropped quite a bit but it's still very high compared to other items so let's just keep going now it downgraded this can happen um, after after duo it can downgrade back to pry if it fails but um, we don't care about any of that with Naru gear we just keep clicking all right okay this is a stack that i find kind of uncomfortable to click on Naru gear so this would be one i put into my nader span and i just go again with this zero stack and done that wasn't so bad right so it lost 20 durability you can see that in the red bar that says 80 out of 80 um, with the 100 in brackets so 100 is the max durability it's at 80 right now and um, like um, this was like fairly average i guess so um, like in case uh, this ever runs out of durability completely and you can't click it anymore you have the option to take your beginner black stones to fugar right here and exchange them for a new weapon or armor or whatever it is right like a main weapon in this case and then you can repair it but um, very very unlikely that you have to do that now you've seen that all it takes for Naru gear to go pen is a bunch of clicking, so enhance your main hand and offhand weapon and all your armor to pen. The only exception is your awakening weapon. You don't need a Naru awakening weapon, you can simply do the awakening quest at level 56 or higher, get your Kanan awakening weapon and use this for the next step without any upgrading. Now we can exchange our Pen Naru gear and our Kanan Awakening weapon for the gear that is on par with Duo Blackstar gear. Summon the Black Spirit, navigate to the event tab and start the quest Special Aid Fugar's Letter. This quest only shows up if you are at least level 50 and have completed the Calpheon story or at least level 56. Fugar's Letter requires you to talk to Fugar an NPC you can find at the stable keeper of any town. The quest will instantly complete and he offers you another quest called Special Aid, A Secret Deal. Go complete this quest as well, which only requires you to talk to Fugar again. Then he will offer you eight quests, one for each gear piece. You can accept the quests one by one and exchange your Naru gear and Kanan Awakening weapon for a full set of Narchalan gear. The Narchalan weapons come in boxes, so you can open them on another character if you want. I won't open them on my Sage, because I haven't decided yet on which character I want to use them. The Narchalan quest series is only available once per family. Currently, it is not possible to rebox the weapons through a quest or anything, so once you open them on a specific class, they will stay exclusive to that class. Here is a framework to help you decide which character to open the weapon boxes on. For me, that's definitely not my sage. Narchalan gear is special in several ways. I could tell you more, but that's gonna cost you a like. The algorithm is hungry today. D did you like the video? I'm just gonna trust you on this. <clears throat> First, Narchalan gear doesn't work when you have negative karma. PA probably don't want beginners to kill other beginners at a minimal effort with this gear. Second, you have the option to melt up to two pieces of Narchalan gear in the heating tab of your processing menu. This will destroy the gear, but give you one item each to add monster AP to a single Tuvala weapon and monster DR to a single Tuvala armor piece. You can only modify Tuvala gear, which is season exclusive, so if you have not played Season, this option will not be relevant to you. I do not recommend melting your Narchalan gear at all. The bonus this adds to Tuvala gear is rather small. It doesn't seem worth it. If you still want to do it, you have to accept two quests from Mary, the node manager of Atanis Pond in Kamasilvia. 
If you held me at gunpoint and told me to choose one Nargelan item to melt, I would melt the shoes because they mostly give evasion instead of damage reduction. Evasion is only worth it with Kafra's pen gear, not at the power level of the Nargelan gear. So the Nargelan shoes are clearly the worst. About the second worst Nargelan item, I couldn't even decide. And to be frank, I'm done supporting your terrible life choices. The stats of the Nargelan gear are kind of unique. Nargelan has stats that are sort of in between duo and tri Blackstar gear. The offhand and the shoes are an exception. There is no Blackstar offhand in the game yet, so the stats of the Nargelan offhand are more comparable to the middle ground between Tri and Ted Kutum. The shoes don't work like Blackstar shoes at all, they are more like a compromise between Tri and Ted Muskin shoes. Despite this, they still have similar bonus effects as Blackstar weapons and armor. So they pack a lot of extra AP and DR against monsters. And they even share the same set effect as Blackstar items. This means that they will be a lot better than a non-Blackstar setup at the same AP and DP levels. If you want to take an even closer look at the stats, I have linked a Google Sheet with the stats of each piece below. Speaking of links, just remember, it will be harder for me to make videos if I'm homeless, so don't forget to check out my Patreon page, which is also linked below. With the Nargelan gear complete, we just need to work on accessories now, and then we can reach 235 AP. There are two types of free accessories with good stats. The main story accessories and the Kaposha accessories you get from level up rewards. You get the main story accessories as quest rewards from, you probably guessed it, the main story. The first one is the Sand Crystal Ring from the Valencia questline. And here is a list of all of them and their respective quests. If you do the main story on one or more characters, you will get them automatically. You won't have to pay attention to anything in particular. You can enhance the main story accessories with freed magical blackstones up to try, and repair them with freed magical shards, which are available from several quests. Some of these quests are repeatable or daily quests. You can open a full list of these quests on the Freed Magical Blackstone page in the Quest Reward tab on bdocodex.com. Because Freed Magical Blackstones are fairly easy to get and kinda stack up automatically over time, I advise against using fail stacks to enhance your main story accessories. Just spam click them to try on zero fail stacks. You're gonna want to switch out your main story accessories for Kaposha accessories over time. Kaposha accessories are rewarded for leveling up your character past level 57. Here is an overview over all of them and how to reach the respective levels. Stay tuned for guides on how to reach level 60 and 61 by questing. Leveling past 62 is not something I would recommend to new players, especially not for Kaposha accessories. It's much easier to enhance or buy better accessories instead. You could craft and enhance Kaposha accessories if you really wanted to, but that's not a very fast or cost-efficient way of getting AP and DP. If you're still interested in a guide on this subject, let me know in the comments. If you have the Nargelan gear and all Kaposha accessories up to level 62, this is what your build is going to look like. 235 AP with a lot of monster AP, monster DR and a bunch of other good stuff is really not too shabby considering it didn't cost you any silver. With this gear, I'd recommend you to grind at the monster zones that drop infinite potion pieces. If you want the legendary potions that never deplete, you have to grind there at some point anyway. It's best to go there now while your gear isn't good enough for endgame spots yet. This way, you won't waste any silver later. Grinding low-end spots with good gear is a bit of a waste because you could put your AP and DP to use to get more silver at better spots instead. If you want even more AP and DP without spending silver on combat gear, you can do the adventure logs and go up to 241 AP and 297 DP with all the monster bonuses on top. Enjoy your new free gear, don't clap your noob friends with it,
but link them this video instead. If you have any questions, the comment section is all yours.